goes. I tell you, he's an absolute living legend here in Ballarat. And he's still getting along. Hello, darlings. Welcome, welcome to Tammy and Tiara's. How have you all been? I'd love to know how your week's been, so please leave me a comment and let me know. Our week's been pretty challenging with Lucy, as you can imagine, because she's not too happy about this not playing bit. Um, she's coping reasonably well, but it's early days and it's very challenging for her. And we as parents just have to look after her and make sure she doesn't overdo it because she doesn't know what she's doing. She really doesn't. Do you, darling? No. Well, this week, I joined in in a mousy make a little mouse from Helen's Mousy Podcasts and I made a mouse. Hang on, I'll pop Lucy down here. She's just so full of love today. Hop down here, my darling. Good girl. Don't don't jump, just stay here. Good girl. Bye next mum. Bye next mum. Good girl. So, oh guys, don't ever underestimate the work in handmade knitted toys. I made a mouse and here she is. She's a bit of a diva. As you can see, she's got her little tiara on and I had to put a fur on her to make her a diva because I'm not a great lover of mice. So I put that on her. Now she was a pattern by Phoenix Knits and I found it on Pinterest. So easy to do. I mean, but putting it together and turning it into something that's cute was another thing. I bought the special little nose to put on there but I couldn't put it on because I'd already put her head together and I brought the proper safety one, so I mucked up there. But Bird thinks she's cute. I'm, I'm still not convinced, but um, I suppose she's cute. She's supposed to be a Christmas mouse, but like I say, I turned her into a diva because, I mean, we all like to be a bit of a diva, don't we? Yes, look at, look at that fur. So I haven't named her yet, but it was quite fun. Her little tail was super easy to do. There's a little tail. Um, when Bert was young, his nickname was always Mouse. So he, he really likes her. I think he's, she's going to live up on his computer bench somehow because he just thinks she's gorgeous. So probably she'll live up there with him. Oh my goodness, do you know what else I found this week, darlings? Talk about mice on the mind. This. This great big mouse Christmas teddy. I found him at a at an op shop and I couldn't leave it there. Two dollars I had to bring him home. He's in such beautiful condition from 1997. But I somehow think that our children had these and they used to sing Christmas carols, something similar to this, or they might have had one like this, maybe in a brown colour. But somehow it triggered memories and I just had to buy it. And I messaged my eldest and asked her does she remember it? But she didn't get back to replying to me. But isn't it? It's, it's quite big, isn't it? And it's a special one. It's from the Commonwealth. Commonwealth from 1988. So that this one was made for the Commonwealth year for Australia, 1988. So very special. I'm so glad that I found him in such beautiful condition. Someone's looked after him and he now lives with Lucy and me and Bert. Lucy's laying down. I have to say, darlings, I wanted to talk about something today. Are you an empath? Can you tell when you go into a room whether things are tense or whether things are calm and happy? I am such a person that I can tell when things are not well and I get physically sick and mentally sick from stress, from, from things I can't even see but I know that are going on because I'm so empathic. I have to spend, send special love to my sister in America today. I'm wearing her tiara because uh, things aren't going so good for her at the moment. And I'm sending her lots of love and lots of caring thoughts. But isn't it hard when you get those sort of things happen and you know that something's going on somewhere, but you can't quite put your finger on it. You don't know how to fix it, but you know that something is going on somewhere. So what do I do? I have a shower and I try not to think about it. I say prayers and then I do daily affirmations for at least a week to try and get rid of the negative energy because they really bring me down. You have to be kind to yourself in order that you can give to others. And my tank gets very flat very quickly. 
And if I get any negative sort of feelings, that's it. I'm no good at all. And I've had a lot coming at me lately. So think of me, darling, still needing the prayers. I'm going to go and get Bert and he can tell you about his week as well. I don't have much news this week and all that. I love Lucy, yes, I love you too. <laughs> Turn around. Love mummy too. <laughs> I know, I know, I know how much she loves you me. You give mummy big kisses all right, cattle. So, so here's Bert, everybody. So how have you been this week, darling one? Oh, poured. Mm. <laughs> really? It's... Not having something to actually do do, finding stuff to do. Keep busy. And I'm not talking getting rid of cobwebs. And uh, yeah, I'm just transferring uh, videos to Plex for us so we can just watch them on the TV instead of changing all the discs all the time and having to clean them because they've got a finger mark on them. So now we just go to Plex, pick our movie, watch it. Get bored halfway through, you can just go to another one with having to get out of your chair and change the DVD. So how's your hand been? Oh, it's, uh, today's not too bad. It's been very tingly. It keeps me awake of a night. Mm. So, um, yeah, so it um, keeps me up at 1.30 last night before I fell asleep. Yeah. Uh, but this morning, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, so, and what did you say? It feels like it's all, what did you say? Oh, in the palm of my hand, it feels like something's crawling around underneath all the time. So pretty horrible, pretty mm. horrible. So, uh, yeah, get through DVDs is easy, no yes. stress. Yes. No physical work. So I'm enjoying it. Always wanted to do it, now I've got the time to do it, so I might as well do it. That's it. I got some new magazines this week. <clears throat> I got a country style, and I got a Daphne's diary. This one has the most beautiful pictures and everything in it. Made in England and absolutely gorgeous. The illustrations are amazing in it and there's little cutouts and lots of things to do. It's very English, but I just love the way it's so childlike. Look at those illustrations. Aren't they gorgeous, Bert? Yes, they are. They're beautifully done. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Easter egg bunny. Mm. It's, I always get it season behind, a month behind or something because it comes from England, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> Even Lucy's looking at it. Yes, Lucy likes it too. Yes, and how are we going with Lucy, darling? She's going all right. I, I haven't seen a leg pop out once in the last two days. No, and when she goes up the ramp now, she's actually stepping over on... Yes, she's not both. bunny hopping anymore. No, she's using different her two legs. So that's a very positive thing. That's a big thing for us. Yep. But to see that because she was bunny hopping everywhere. She's wanting to do more too, isn't she? So that's probably yeah. a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. And she's sort of not half running, she's running a bit faster, which she's yes. probably supposed to do. Yes. And yes. you tell the dog not to run. I know, I oh. know. But what did you think of my mousie? I love him. Yeah. Is he going to go live in your room? No, me and him on the back here so he can go for a ride on Lucy. Oh, Bert! <laughs> you want me to sew him on the back of Lucy? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do that to her. I wouldn't do that to you, Lucy. <laughs> Oh gosh, you're hilarious. <laughs> so you don't want him to live in your back room then? Oh yeah, he can live in my back room. <laughs> I'll stick him on top of the computer. Yeah, he's she's pretty different. I can always get a, a blue bow if you No, 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 no. That's, That's fine. So what have we got on for this week, darling? What are we going to be doing this week? Have we got any big plans? No. Not um, that I'm aware of. No world conquering? <clears throat> no, no. Even no conky, concreting. We're just going to try and stay happy and just have a lovely day every day. Bert has got the swing in the conservatory, as you can see, so I'm filming under here. Hope there's not too much back noise. We've got very close neighbours here, and they've got a beautiful dog, Walter, who likes to let us know when he's outside, but that's okay. That's his, his yard, so we don't mind yeah. at all. He's protecting it like this one does. Yeah, so that's all good. <coughs> there, he, As I say, there he goes. We call him Wally. He's a beautiful big dog, beautiful dog. Yeah, so have you got any words of encouragement for my beautiful people? Stay happy. Yeah, stay happy, darling. Very negative thoughts. Do something for yourselves every single day. Make sure that you look after your own mental health because it's the most important thing, isn't it? Yep. And we're sending all our love from beautiful Ballarat. God bless. Take care. Oh, I have to add, I got to meet Elvis Aaron Presley. Oh. Didn't we? We did. We did. He was down around the corner. There's an icon in Ballarat. 
He is an icon. His car has been done up like Elvis for how many years, Bert? Since the 70s oh, or yeah. early 80s. Yep. And he, legend is, he wrote to Elvis and got his name, he had the permission to change his name to Elvis Aaron Presley. And so he's a legend. He even looked like Elvis in his day. He doesn't quite so much anymore, but you still can see the resemblance. And it was wonderful just to see him parked on the side of the road. And I went up to him and had a chat, didn't I, Bert? Yep, the old Sandman panel van, all decked out. Yes. I'll probably stick a bit, uh, picture on. Yes, I'll definitely the put old, the video uh, on the end of this. twin exhaust, extractors, really sounds nice. And I said to Bert the other week, I said, I heard Elvis drive around the corner. And he goes, no, you didn't. Elvis hasn't been driving for a long time. Well, I was right, because he knows the people that live down the bottom. So he says now that when he drives past, he's going to give the horn a toot because I can hear cars pretty clearly. The old traditional air horns from the <laughs> 60s and 70s. It was lovely to see it was. Elvis, wasn't yeah. it? He's quite old now, and when we were chatting, he went on to chat about his doctor. So I stopped filming because he was chatting to me about his doctor. But I have to say, he's done a great job with his car, and it was wonderful to see him. So once again, bye, darling. Sending you lots of love. God bye bless. Again. Guess who you meet when you're out and about? This is Elvis Aaron Presley of Ballarat. He's right. He's got the coolest car in Ballarat. When did you first do this car, Elvis? Oh, a long time ago. I oh. haven't had it going a while. I had that sciatic nerve and I'm going to give the doctor away. Yeah. Right up Howard Street. I'm going to get one out to Bass. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, you do that. You do that. I love your car. You're lucky you could see. Yeah. It's not every day that you find Elvis Aaron Presley cruising around the rat. That sounds like Elvis, because this car's got it. There he is. He's awesome. Do you know he wrote to Elvis and got his name approved by the king himself? He's a legend here in the rat, an absolute legend. We love him, love his car. And so happy to see him out and about down my end. Yippee! Good day. Look at that bonnet. The king. There he goes. I tell you, he's an absolute living legend here in Ballarat. And he's still getting around. He's our very own Elvis Aaron Presley.